In the Bible, there's a letter written by the Apostle Paul to the church in Corinth. And in that letter, Paul encourages the Corinthians to be like another church he knows, the church in Macedonia. And in encouraging the Corinthian church to be like the Macedonians, Paul describes the generosity of those people in Macedonia. He describes how they give not just what they can, but they go beyond that in their generosity. But Paul also says this to the Corinthian church. He says that our desire is not that they um, are relieved while you are hard pressed, but that there may be equality. And he also goes on to say that your plenty will provide what they need, so that in turn, their plenty will provide what you need. And so from the very beginning, Paul indicates that there is this mutual dependence between churches, that the resources that churches have should be shared so that there may be equality, equality in the gospel message. Now, in the Church of England, we have a system that is based on Paul's words, a system that allocates resources from those churches that have plenty to those that have little. It's a system called parish share. And parish share is that money that the parishes give to the diocese, which the diocese then spends on mission, principally in the form of uh, paid clergy, but on a whole load of other mission activities as well, in support of the overall mission of the diocese. And really that's what a diocese does. It is that kind of organisation, that structure, that is able to um, organise the resources of the church so that they may be deployed where they are needed, not just where they can be afforded. And in many ways, parish share is a very radical idea. It goes against some of the modern day thinking that we have around us, that idea that you get what you pay for. And instead, it is the idea of sharing our resources together for equality of the gospel message, so that resources could be allocated to where they are needed most. And so the challenge of Paul's words to the Corinthian church is the same challenge to us, both as individuals and as churches. It is to see the full extent of the mission that we are engaged in. It is to see that our mission is so much bigger than perhaps we think it is. And it is to want equality in that gospel message so that it may be made known to all those that we encounter right across the diocese. Thank you.